Hey everybody, I'm back y'all. So, yes, I literally, I moved a few months ago and I had a box full of tarot decks. Um, like from when I first started my spiritual journey, um, my crystal ball, pendulums, every, it was a lot of stuff like from when I first started. And it's just so ironic that it found its way back to me. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I have to use them. I got to use them. I got to use them. At least some of them. So we're going to do a collective read today. And we're going to use the handy dandies. Okay? The handy dandies. All right? <laughs> and yeah, they're a little worn. But I... Listen, baby. Hey. These cards have had some messages you hear me have saved some lives helped some people listen you can feel that okay all right so general read please for the collective give me a message for the collective what does the collective need to know hmm Someone is upset that the truth got out. Don't know. Somebody don't know who's talking, who said what, but some type of truth got out. Somebody is upset. Okay. Yes, some type of what is this? Because I, this is the same type of energy that was I was getting yesterday. But like, I didn't even want to because normally I post four to five videos a day. I didn't even want to pull the energy no more because it was like really hostile, really hostile energy. But I'm getting that there is like some type of uh, argument or disagreement and somebody feeling like they win, they won a fight or a disagreement with somebody who's very strict, stern, like with no nonsense, somebody that takes no nonsense with this King of Swords energy here. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. What is this about? Somebody feels like they won an argument, a battle, or whatever this is. Why is the six of wands here? Or somebody feels like they was winning an argument at first. It's like, oh, you thought you was winning up until now type of energy. Okay, six of wands. Let me have the five of cups. Why is there regrets? Why is crying over spilled milk energy here? Oh, what is this? Hmm. Why is the five of cups here? I want to know why there is regrets. Nine of wands. Hmm. There is this 
four of wands energy now, this could be a marriage or there is some type of um something involving home life or family something like where somebody grew up at childhood especially with the three of wands and the six of cups this is somebody like something that i feel like happened a long time ago or something somebody looking back over the past like where they used to live or childhood memories Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, so there is some competitive energy here. Could be with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This could be involving a family member. This Four of Wands wants to come out. Somebody may feel like somebody's bragging. And somebody's like, no, she... They just having fun. Somebody feel like somebody bragging. And then on the other end, it's like, are you bragging or are you just having fun? Hmm. Somebody's starting to argue. What is this? Somebody got a problem. Because somebody feels like somebody's bragging. That's what this is. Like, Ace of Cups, Five of Swords. Somebody is jealous. There's some envious energy here. You're around somebody that's envious. Yeah, they jealous because you're happy. Ten of Cups. They're jealous because you are happy. Yes. It's like, when is going to be my turn? Somebody feels like, oh, you think you all that? You think you all that? You think you can do? You think you, yeah, like, see, you got somebody shook over here. We got the tower. And the Eight of Swords. Somebody is surprised. You got a lot. You you could be. Uh, <laughs> they can't just stick you in a box. I see that. And um, you're over here manifesting. Like you going to make something shake. They can't make this shake like you could shake it. You know. <laughs> they can't make it shake like how you could shake it. But I'm definitely seeing, like, somebody is jealous. Look at this. The will and Ten of Pentacles. It's because things are changing for you. And it's changing and things are going in your favor. This Ten of Pentacles and the will of fortune. Yes. Like, this is dope-ass energy. This is things going in your favor. It could be financially. It could be business-wise. It could be career-wise. It could be family-wise, marriage, long-term. This is long-term stability, okay? And something is going in your favor. This could be, like, generational wealth. Virgo Taurus Capricorn involved. This could be who could be looking at you. Definitely getting Capricorn energy. I 
see like a lot of hope um, about moving forward with something. I see things are really progressing for you. And I see you got somebody watching you. They're watching you because they're jealous because you are ha you're happy. Whatever it is that you're doing, they feel like you brag too much. They feel like you show too show offy because um, at one point in time, maybe you were stuck. But it looks like with that tower here, spirit done stepped in and gave you a choice, gave you some type of choice. You had plenty of options, and I feel like. Um, you chose to end something. And once you ended that, once you ended that situation, it's like you had room to you had wiggle room. You had room to move around and, and manifest. You couldn't do that uh previously because you felt stuck. Somebody over here is waiting for waiting for you to make some type of decision on whether or not if you're going to go back to the situation and make peace or if you're going to move on. Okay, so you got somebody over here that's waiting yep, for you to make a final decision. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Taurus or a Libra. I feel like some of y'all, y'all are, uh, I feel like you feel like you're afraid to get played. You're afraid to, you fear that, you know, being manipulated or tricked or played out of something. So some of y'all just are holding back when it comes to, you know, um, blending your finances blending families blending it's just like the thought of that kind of like makes you want to kind of like hold back because i see you being very abundant very self-absorbed kind of like self-love fixing yourself working on yourself doing things for you um i don't really see you being as open i see you being kind of closed off and working on yourself whatever it is that you're doing it looks like it's to, I mean, you, you got people looking at you like, oh, they, he, she is bragging. Like, they brag too much or they be doing too much. Somebody wants what you got, baby. Whatever it is, they love what you do. And that's the thing about it. Look at this. They love Queen of Cups and the Lovers. So somebody may want... Um, the same thing as you have the same goals as you they like how you doing it they may want you to get them some insight get them some tips i definitely see that they could be watching you learning from you getting tips from you um yeah because i feel like somebody owes you an apology too somebody owes you some type of apology but they don't want to. They don't want to do it. There's somebody over here knows that they owe you some type of apology. They don't want to. They don't really want to come towards you. Not yet. But definitely spying. Could be a Capricorn. We got the Page of Swords and the Devil here. Um, I see them spying, but not saying nothing. Could be a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, they know they messed up. They know they missed out. <laughs> they missed out. They missed the opportunity. Um, they're looking at your growth. We got the sun and the seven of pentacles. Like they're looking at your growth. They're mon it's like they're monitoring your growth. Like, okay, six months ago you weren't doing that. A year ago you weren't doing that either. Just three months ago you wasn't doing that either. Like they're literally monitoring your growth. I don't know if they're watching you so hard. I'm talking about jealous. Big jealous. They see this progress that you're making. They're looking at this progress that you're making. 
this person I think could for a lot of you could be a male. It could be a male or a female, but I'm picking up real heavy male energy, masculine energy. So for some of you, this could be like an egg. Somebody that you used to deal with. Somebody that wants to deal with you. It could be like a secret admirer or something. Yeah, see this part. We got creativity. This person thinks that you're very creative. I don't feel like they want to accept it because we got acceptance in the reverse. I don't think it's something that they ever wanted to accept. But the fact remains that you're creative. You look, you love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Like it's, you're super duper creative, and they've been just watching you, like taking notes, like how you come up with these ideas. What it is that you're doing. Like, how are you doing it? We got peacefulness. But it was in the reverse. So, this says you recognize that balance, kindness, and love brings calmness to your soul. Like I said, it was in the reverse. This person hasn't been at peace <laughs> at all. And they want to be, they're not going to be at peace because they really want to have unity with you. They really want to come together with you. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. But they aren't willing, they aren't willing to tolerate certain things. And I feel like this person knows that they um, owe you an apology too. They know that they owe you an apology. But they're just going to sit back and watch you. Yeah, we got evolution. See, they're not evolving while you're over here evolving. They aren't getting anywhere. None, there's nothing new happening. You realize that, that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Like I said, it was in reverse. They have to make some type of transformation. They have to go through some type of transformation. Um, they haven't found their purpose yet. And there's some things that they need to detach from. Um, some old patterns. Um, some things, a way of living, a way of thinking. They need to let that go. And they still haven't let go of the past either. So this is a ripple effect, cause and effect um, of why things aren't going in their favor. Why they aren't evolving. They see you over here evolving and they aren't. So that's why they're sitting here watching everything that you do. Looking at you, thinking that you bragging. Feel like you got... You know, like you trying to throw stuff up in their face, like, hey, hey, you, I do it, you can't. It ain't even that. It's the fact that you have found what it is that you like to do. You have found what you're good at. You have found your purpose. They can't get mad because you found your purpose. You took time to evaluate yourself and look at yourself. You did the inner work to learn you. They haven't done that. And they haven't been at peace. And they won't get any peace until they go through their own um, awakening. I don't know what they think this is, honey. But baby. But baby. Let me see what they want to say to you. They're saying that the timing wasn't right and they know that they messed everything up, um, but they can't stop thinking about you. And they've been thinking about you nonstop and they know that they crossed some type of line with you, but they just saying like the time wasn't right for you guys to be together, work on something, collab, whatever it may be. Um, but they know that they messed up and they know that they crossed the line with you. But at this point in time, they're, you're really heavy on this person's mind. So that's why they're watching you. They're looking at the evolution. They're looking at your growth. They're keeping tabs on you. Um, but they need to be keeping tabs on their own growth. <laughs> All right, so that's the message that I got for you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends. Comment below. Let me know what's going on, and I'm going to chat with y'all later.